Okay guys, this is Professor Massimo from the Division of Physics and Applied Physics and I'll be asking ask to answer some questions from my messy office. So the first question that you may have is uh, why physics and applied physics? So you may take physics because you want to know something about the different rules that govern the world from the very small below the atomic scale to the very large the universe, from the very cold to places are hot as the sun and so on and so forth. All these uh, questions, universal ro rules that govern our world are covered in the a pure physics track. But you may also decide to take physics because you are uh, intrigued by the technological aspect of it. You want to know how you can exploit the law of physics to address some specific question, to make a better hard drive, to have cars that are more efficient, to have better solar cells, and so on and so forth. So if you take the applied physics track, you are going to have the opportunity to take some uh, elective courses that are going to explore different areas where you can actually use the law of physics in our uh, real world. So we want to cater to all the curiosity that students that are taking physics may have. Okay, so the second question is, uh, what do we mean by uh, applied physics? So let me first clarify that you can take the uh, degree in pure physics or applied physics. In both cases, you are going to have a fundamental understanding of the law that govern our universe, the basic understanding what we believe uh, is the minimum that a graduate in physics should have. By applied physics, we mean just for you the opportunity to explore uh, the use of physics in uh, a technological context, biological or medical physics context, could be the semiconductor industry, could be optical physics, and so on and so forth. So the next question is, uh, where do most students work after graduating? We keep track of what our students are doing, so we can give a precise answer to this. Uh, one quarter of our students is working on uh, engineering uh, product development. 20% of our students are working in uh, research. Research could be a job in university, in a research development uh, department of some companies, in uh, organizations such as uh, ASTAR. Uh, our graduates also work in uh, human resources, in management, finance, in education, in government. So really a, a, a variety of opportunities. The next question is uh, where do you find passion for physics? And we see that in our students. Right? So we have students that are really fascinated by the understanding of how the world uh, works. Why this and why that? They really want to understand the law that governs our world. Then there are students that instead are driven by they want to solve a problem. They want to create a better solar cell. This is a research topic where it's quite popular here at you. In my case, I'm always fascinated just by how you can bridge the different length scale. So how atoms or molecules or also person organize at a larger level in materials, in communities and so on and so forth. So how from the small you can have a large which is organized. This is the domain which is known as a complexity science. Okay, so the next question is, uh, what is special about the NTU physics program? So we have been working hard to start a very uh, balanced program. So we make sure that students here are exposed to the right amount of uh, basic understanding on the law of physics, but also of application of the law of physics to uh, technology. On the other hand, while teaching physics, we make sure that students acquire uh, some uh, skills that are quite important, like programming, data analysis, modeling. It's also special here at NTU, the attention that we put to this internship program. We always think that uh, it's quite difficult for a student not to make a decision what I'm going to do next. What we do here at the Division of Physics is to exploit some internships. So students are allowed to take, to spend some time, 10 or 20 weeks, depending on their choice, uh, working in companies. They can understand what a physics student can do in that company, what are the career prospects. They learn a little bit uh, about the outside world and then they can make uh, an informed decision about uh, their future. Okay, that's all for my side. I hope I've answered to your uh, main question. Should you have many other questions, feel free to reach us in any way and uh, best wish for your future.